says Paul. <laughs> um, I I just want to make sure that you understand that um, having the actual documentation from Washington State Courts, yes, that uh, proves that my rights are being violated, as are the rights of my sons, yes. <laughs> You can see here in 2011, I was not given any notice or opportunity to be heard right. Mm -hmm. uh, there, they made some changes in this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, those, the falsifications, uh, concealing or covering up. Right. <laughs> um, having the dissolution of marriage or the, the, uh, Domestic Violence Protection Order, uh, actual case history, yes, is enough to put you in prison. Now, for every person in law enforcement that is going to let the sheriffs and the police departments uh, commit these crimes, I just want all of you to know that I'm going to take every asset and then you're going to find out the importance of your rights that are defined in the Constitution of the United States. Now, you took my sons in 2011, and I wasn't a resident. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't commit any domestic violence or child abuse, and I'm not going to motion a court that doesn't protect the rights of American citizens. Ooh. And um, these, th these, um, mm -hmm. these uh, crimes, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, fraud, uh, major disaster, or fraud-related activity, obtaining confidential phone records yes fraud related to the activity in connection with electronic mail known as email oh. <laughs> exactly who sent the email to Heidi's co-workers because I didn't mm -hmm. there could be some fraud in there yes mm -hmm. entry by false pretenses to any real property <laughs> vessel or aircraft of the United States or secure area of any airport or seaport yes now, we went through this 1001. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it does say, uh, does not apply to a party to a judicial proceeding or that party's counsel uh -huh. for statement, representation, writing documents submitted by such party. Mm -hmm. But um, the administrative matters, including a claim for payment, a matter related to the procurement of property or services, personal or personnel or employment practices or support services mm -hmm. or a document required by law rule or regulation to be submitted to congress or any officer or uh, officer officer <laughs> within the legislative branch <laughs> you know um this divorcement where i didn't get any notice of the actual divorce or the the actual divorce itself yeah <laughs> Was Heidi on welfare for the last seven years and three months? Because every time she presented a copy of the protection order to secure any employment, yes, any scholarships, yes, any welfare, ouch, any medical services, yes, without the actual protections of due process, those are all fraudulent uh, orders, right, that are necessary for administrative matters. <laughs> Now, why don't you get me a copy of every document issued by this county, yes, that has been used to secure any payment of anything, yes, any matter related to the procurement of any property or services, Section 8, yes, welfare benefits, yes. Why don't you get me that? Now, somebody was saying, Judge Ken Williams, that this petition for dissolution of marriage is legal. Yes. Uh, but I, I was moved at the time of being served the actual dissolution of marriage. Yes. Maybe the sheriff's department remembers driving me to the Port Angeles Police Department and then I was put in jail. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that bad faith dissolution of marriage where... You had a wrongful execution, yes. But I think as soon as you uh, gave her the the actual mm -hmm, uh, case, let's see here, it must be called something. Yes. Um, disillusion of marriage, something that she started with the court on May 24th of 2012. Yeah. 
And then uh, we looked at that children in the middle class. Didn't really do her much good at all. Yes. <laughs> and then you didn't uh, hold her in contempt of court for the motion for default. Right. <laughs> and then um, you issued another protection order where I was on. <laughs> yes. And then you decided to give her the child support worksheets and a motion affidavit and declaration of the temporary order. Yes. I want to get every copy that the state of Washington has. When you do not protect the due process rights of the respondent, known as the husband and the father of the five biological children, and the actual document is used for employment, yes. Any scholarships for Heritage University, yeah. Could you get me the FAFSA forms, pooch? The app, 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 application for her master's degree. You know, I was looking online and there's a good possibility she did get a new job because she's like got a master's degree in literature and language from Heritage University. I'm going to have to sue this county, this state, and every state for allowing for the fraud of giving uh -huh, uh, any financial aid from the federal government because... The documents are required by law for her to say that she's divorced when she's not. Yes. You're really going to be fucked over today. <laughs> now, I know this Congress, okay. Possession of false papers to defraud the United States. Mm -hmm. Whoever knowingly and with intent to defraud the United States of uh, financial aid. Yes. Because the financial aid that was uh, used to pay for any agency thereof, that would be welfare? Yes. Mm -hmm. That would be um, Medicaid? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that would be the Department of Education? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Possesses, as in you have ownership of any false, altered, forged, or counterfeit yeah. <laughs> writing or document for the purpose of enabling another to obtain from the United States or from any agency, officer, or agent thereof any sum of money mm -hmm, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than five years or both. <laughs> Now, when we go through, yes, mm -hmm, the first protection order that was issued that was used to get her the emergency housing, yes, and the emergency welfare benefits, yes, mm -hmm. when you issued that in 2011 and I wasn't a resident of the state of Washington, without the equal protections of the respondents, the VAWA, the PKPA, the International Child Abduction and Baby Snatching Laws. Yes. You actually issued a fraudulent document she was a party of, but I wasn't. So you can't really include me because I wasn't a resident of the state of Washington and I didn't get notice and opportunity to be heard. I was named, but the truth was you served me on Guam. Yes. I feel like my left nipple is very sensitive right now. Any agency. <laughs> 